Yeah, I got I got the news today that they they denied me um, um, disability benefits, so I won't be getting no benefits or money for SSI, SSDI. I won't be getting SSDI, which I'm not surprised. I knew, I had a feeling that was going to be that case. I I felt like I had like a 10% chance at winning the case, so I'm not surprised. Moving forward, speaking of my medical ailments and my medical problems, besides they valued me mentally and physically. Physically, they said I uh, have hypertensive heart disease. On um, pills, uh, take five pills a day, metaprol, okay, They tell me that I should need to dash diet, uh, which is nothing new. Uh, avoid white rice, white flour, white sugar. Are you kidding me? White sugar? I love white sugar. Who doesn't like a donut every now and then, huh? Ooh. You must be barking up the wrong branch here. Who do you think you're talking to, doctor's office? They said that uh, I gotta do a, a CT abdomen um, ultrasound, I think, something like that. And then uh, livid pan serum, right flank pain, your ana analysis reflex culture, gastroesophageal reflux disease. They said I have a gastro, uh, besides hemorrhoids, I have a gastroesophageal reflux disease, and I'm anemic with esophagitis. They said take a mesoprolol out by mouth. Avoid alcohol, citrus, coffee, chocolate, mint. Are you kidding? Avoid alcohol? What am I doing right now then? Eat smaller meals. No, no eating three hours prior to bedtime. I eat like 26 minutes before bedtime. I've been doing that for over 10 years. Elevate my head of bed prior to sleep. Elevate head of bed prior to sleep. Well, that's not going to be easy. Um, release delayed, really delayed release medicine on that sinus tech. Uh, restart my medicine. I'll be compliant. They told me to be compliant with my medicine. Um, what else? They said lab. Hydrocortisone. Use a which is like two hundred dollars from him. Some five foot nine inches, five foot nine inches, two hundred eight, almost two hundred nine pounds with my clothes. Blood pressure is high. My pulse is really high. I've got a heart fast rhythm. What else? Um, they tell me gastro reflux, esophagus, hemorrhoids, um, wisdom teeth. And then they gave me the results. I threw them away. They said something in my urine, like mucus, or I don't know. It was, I, I meant to share that, but I don't have it. Because, um, hypertensive heart disease, gastro reflux, hyperdemia, and hemorrhoids. That's that. <coughs> right upper conjurate pain, right flank pain, yes. and out of trash. The next time I'm going there is June 9th of next year. And, uh, this Christmas my mom made um, squid or calamari and spaghetti with shrimp in it. interesting dishes I want to share with you. Um, God, what the? I'm frustrated like Carl Kish. Where'd it go? Damn it. What the fuck? Is that? Shit. I put it ID. Uh, I was, yes, I was gonna uh, tie it to something if they need it, but they know me. It's like Gordon Ramsay said, if you if you're common in the kitchen, you're a frequent job member and employee, 
why I have it on. Gordon Ramsay would agree with me. Because I've seen him do it. Fuck. Jesus Christ. You know what sucks? After my beer here, I'm only going to have four beers left. That sucks, bananas. Oh, well. Basically, I got 64 ounces after this. I guess that's enough. What time is it? Oh. Perfect. Five minutes, 40 seconds. Perfect. I thought about watching a movie later. My favorite show is Essence of Emerald. I love that show. You need a bottle of whiskey if you watch Emerald. Though. Emerald's badass. like Emerald's a good chef. I really really value, I really like Emerald Lagasse. I like his picture too. He don't play. That's how I feel all the time. He means business. He's true to his game. That's what life. That's a serious life take life serious as cancer serious as Life and serious is a heart attack. I went to the store and got this Nor um, creamy chicken flavor rice and pasta blend and a creamy chicken flavored sauce. I thought it sounded good. Maybe tomorrow or tonight. Actually, not tonight, but uh, so I'll save it for a rainy day. It's good by February. This is a good brand, Norris. I used to have it in my old kitchen job. It'd be good with chopped ham. I got some cold cut ham. Chop some, heat some ham up. Put it in this. Mm. Good, good meal. Good garlic bread. Small salad. Man, talk about good. Cheddar broccoli rice. This was new, new. They just came out with this. Half cheese and half rice up here. Half rice, half cheese. I don't know. Half cheese and half rice. It's rather heavy. It's like eight point, damn near nine ounces. But it's decent. And it's a uh, shelf life on this is May of next year. And uh, chef tips uh, for hearty meal. You can saute chicken, it says, baby spinach, and cook. I take artichoke or leeks. Put it in there with some chopped up bacon, collard greens with some beef broth. And uh, chopped onion. Mm, this sounds like it'd be a winner. It's all seasoned salt. <laughs> Little rotisserie or poultry seasoning. We're on fire. Fresh garlic. <sighs> Put a little Romano cheese in it. <laughs> Serve it alongside some flank steak or a Swiss steak with tomato. Delicious with a little wine, some red wine, a little shrimp on the barbie. Just some ideas. One of my specialties, as far as me being really good in the kitchen, is swordfish. I'm going to share you guys a quick recipe before I leave. Nine minutes. Ah, too bad. Take a, I know every time I say it, I don't like it over eight minutes, but take Get you, let me guys tell you something. Swordfish ain't cheap, especially wild caught. Get you some swordfish, throw it under the sink, get it real flimsy and uh, soft and uh, tender. Throw it in the baking pan, bake it uh, 375, uh, 31 minutes to tw 27 to 31 minutes, but flip it halfway. Preheat the oven, put a little oil or a bit of grease down there, um, put a little butter on it, and a little, um, I'd say a little a lemon pepper, which usually always goes with vegetables. Lemon pepper and uh, 
honestly, a swordfish. Hmm. No, no, no dill, no lemon. F fuck lemon and dill on fish. Get some tarragon. Black pepper, tarragon, and salt. And butter. Oh, yeah. Well, parsley, okay. Fresh parsley to garnish. Get you some roasted red uh, potatoes. Get your onion bun. Toast your onion bun. Uh, slice the fish. If you have a guest, <coughs> put it with the toast of the onion bun. Have Eat the swordfish like a sandwich with some asparagus and put a little capers. Actually, mat red mashed potatoes with some capers. Oh, that's a good meal right there. Now you're talking. Or, uh, I gotta finish this beer. I like, uh, <coughs> I want to learn how to do, um, croquette, like turkey croquettes. It's not easy. It's Little Caesars, man. Kudos to them. They, they come up a long way. They, uh, have their own napkins. I like it. Every now and then I like Taco Bell. Around here we call it Taco Hell. Not bad. Um, 11 minutes ain't too shabby. Pete's sake, for crying out loud. I'm in the money. I've been saving money. been paying the dentist. I'm on my economic game. I've been... Fuck President Trump. You know, you don't belong in office, but uh, you don't have to like me. I don't want you to like me. I'm not your friend. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here just to do my thing. You know, uh, keep it real. Shit's real in the field. That's it. I'm not here to make no friends. If it happens, then that's an added bonus. If I ever do meet a woman or a female, well, I'd like to have a woman that likes to cook. I like a damn good cook. I would like a girl that likes to go to rodeo and, you know, party sometimes. I want a redhead. I really want a redhead. I'd love to have a redhead female. So if you're, if you're out there watching a redhead, consider me for a potential date if you live nearby me in Ohio. I'll arrange the girls to pick you up, buy you lunch. Whoever, if your name is Chelsea, Catherine, Mary, Jane, uh, Jessica, Brittany, Veronica, Tiffany. If you're watching, or even Taylor, Madison, I'll take you on. I'll buy you lunch, baby. Let's do it. If you're redhead and you're watching, I'm not choicey. Hell, if you're a blonde, I like blondes too. Months. Shit. It's done. Beer's done. Merry Christmas.